आई एम एस सौरे के मेरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस सेंट जोसेफ कॉलेज फॉर वेमेन त्रिपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू केस टूल्स द टॉपिक्स कवर्ड अंडर इंट्रोडक्शन टू केस टूल्स आर कंप्यूटर एडेड सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ केस टूल्स बेनिफिट्स ऑफ केस टूल्स डेटा मॉडल एंड डेटा फ्लो डायग्राम Computer Aided System Engineering case tools are programs that automate or support one or more phases of a system development life cycle there are collection of tools to support software development process used to support software process activities by automating process providing information about the software being developed components of case tools central repository di- diagramming tools report generator analysis tools documentation generator code generator components of case tools central repository it is centralized repository used to store graphical diagrams prototype forms and reports and act as information repository or direct dictionary report generator create modify and test prototypes of computer displays and reports identify data items to display or collect for each screen or report diagramming tools represent a system and its components visually higher level process to easily decompose can examine process or data models at high or at low level analysis tool it generates report and identify possible inconsistency redundancy and omission it focuses on diagram completeness and consistency data structure and usages documentation tool creates standard reports highly qualified documentation leads to 80% reduction in system maintenance code generation tool code generation tool creates code code generation tool helps in connect connect to the repository select the object model select the custom features define properties and specify the output of the op- of the project benefits of case tools improves wo- improve software quality enforce discipline helps in communication between development team members information is illustrated through diagrams that is easier to understand development information is centralized reduction of time and effort tasks are faster to complete and alter we can reuse models the maintenance cost is reduced there are some problems in case tools limitation in flexibility of documentation completeness and syntactic correctness, correctness does not mean compliance with requirements cost associated with the use of the tool purchase price and training data model data model is a collection of conceptual tool for describing data data structures and is powerful in expressing and communicating the business requirements and visualizing represents the nature of data data model describes the design of physical and logical view there are three different types of data model types of data model conceptual logical and physical conceptual model deals with what the system contains logical model deals with how the system will be implemented 
physical model leads physical model deals with the system will be how the system will be implemented using specific dbms dft that is data flow diagram it is a graphical tool perform structural analysis and logical requirement useful for analyzing existing and proposed system focus on movement of data it is a simple technique to learn and use elements of dft external entity processes data stores and data flows symbols used in dft by gan and sarsen symbol and d marco and jordan symbol external entities supply or receive data two types are involved source and sync source supply data from the system and sync receive data from the system process works inside the system incoming arrows are input data flows outgoing arrows are output data flows process can connect to any other symbol contains the business logic and also called business rules referred to as a black box data stores data store is a repository of data data can be read from a data store data flows data is motion connects the processes external entities and data stores leveled dfds level c there are three types of levels level 0 level 1 and level 2 level 0 is context diagram level 1 is overview and level 2 is detailed level 0 context diagram identifies external entities and related input and outputs level 1 overview gives overview of full system identifies major process and data flows between them identifies data stores level 2 detailed level 1 process is expanded into more detail each process in level 1 is decomposed boundary of level 2 is the level 1 process rules for dft numbering labeling and balancing numbering level 1 process are numbered 1 2 3 on level 2 process are x.1 x.2 etc labeling process label data flow label and data store label process label is short description of what the process does data flow label is noun representing the data flow data store label describes the type of data store